color the blocks. Color hundreds, tens, and ones to show each number. The first number we have is the number 291. 291 has hundreds, tens, and ones. There are two groups of 100, 100, 200. There are nine tens. One ten, two tens, three tens, four tens, five tens, six tens, seven tens, eight tens, nine tens. The value of nine tens, what is it? Let's count. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. What's the value of two groups of 100? 200. Plus how many ones? One, one. So to write that in expanded form, we write 200 plus 90 plus 1. How many hundreds? How many tens? How many ones? Two hundreds, nine tens, and one one. But we do not write two plus nine plus one. Nine plus one is ten. Ten plus two is a T number, twelve. Is 12 the same as 291? No. The next number we have is 740. There are seven groups of 100 four groups of 10 and zero ones. So we're going to count up to 700 by hundreds. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700. There are four groups of 10. One ten, two tens, three tens, four tens. And there are zero ones. To write that in expanded form, we write the value of the hundreds place. We counted all of these hundreds, and there was a total of 700. Then we add the value of the tens place, 10, 20, 30, 40. The value of the tens place is 40. And we had zero ones, so plus zero ones. There were blank hundreds, blank tens, and blank ones. Seven groups of 100, four groups of 10, and six ones. We do not write seven plus four plus six, 4 plus 6 equals 10. 10 plus 7 is a T number, 17. 17 is not the same as 746. This is why we must write it in expanded form, the value of each digit. The next number we have is the number 300. 67. 367 has three groups of 100, six groups of 10, and seven groups of ones. So we will count by hundreds to 300. 100, 200, 300. The next group we have, the next place value we have is six tens. One ten, two tens, three tens, four tens, five tens, six tens. The value of all of our tens, we have to count by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. We have 
60 plus the value of the ones place. How many ones do we see? Seven ones. So we write the value for expanded form. We have to write the value of the hundreds place, which is 300 plus the value of the tens place, which was 60, and plus the value of the ones place, which was seven. So my number was 367. This is standard form. This is expanded form. If we, this is how we write how many hundreds, tens, and ones. Here's my hundreds, tens, and ones. How many hundreds are in the number 300? Three. How many tens are in the number 60? Six. How many ones are in the number seven? Seven. Three, six, seven. We do not write three plus six plus seven. Three plus seven is 10. Bring down the six. 10 plus six is a teen number, 16. 16 is not the same number as 300. 67. And the last number that we have is the number 603. There are six groups of 100, zero tens, and three, oops, six groups of 100, zero tens, and three ones. So we'll color in 600, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600. That's how many hundreds are in the number 603. There are zero tens, so I'm not going to color any of the tens in, plus three ones. One, let's just circle three ones. To write 603 in expanded form, I would write the value of the hundreds, 600, plus the value of the tens, zero, plus the value of the ones, three. I do not write six plus zero plus three. Six plus zero is nothing, plus three more equals nine. Is nine the same number as 603? No. There are six groups of 100, zero tens, and three ones.